Hello friends, it's Susan. Today I'd like to have a conversation about creativity. I am in the process of creating a program for women over 50 who want to create change and be with change in their bodies, their lives, and the world. I'm excited about it. I have a lot of ideas and I'm getting ready to launch early versions and the program needs a name so I started thinking about that and I came up with one that I thought was really good and then it was pointed out to me that there were some not so great things about it and that it didn't quite work and this reminded me of a story that I love about creativity It was originated by a, in a book called Art and Fear by David Bales and Ted Orland, but James Clear also talks about it in his book called Atomic Habits. Atomic Habits. The story goes that there's a college class, a ceramics class, and the professor gives the students a choice that at the end of the semester they can either be graded on one single piece that they make, or they can be graded on the weight, the sheer volume of pieces that they make. It doesn't matter what they look like, it doesn't matter if they're broken, they just put it on a scale and the more it weighs, the better your grade. And what it turned out was that the students who chose to do the most work come up with the greatest quantity of work, came up with the best work, the most creative, the, the things that solved problems and addressed tricky issues. And they did the best work just by doing a lot. So after I decided to let go of my one name that I thought would work, I just started coming up with a bunch of them. And, and I just wrote and wrote and wrote. And I don't know if I have the right name yet, but this is my strategy now, is to come up with as many names as I can, not necessarily the best name. So, two questions for you today. What is your experience with this? It is perfectionism, right, that, that drives us to saying, you know, mm -mm -mm, I want to make it just right. Yeah, so what's your experience with perfection? And, and or experimenting with quantity, creative quantity. And, so, so I want you to leave a comment about that. And if you are interested in a program for women over 50 who are wanting to create and be with change in their bodies and their lives in the world. I want to know that too because I'm looking for people to bounce ideas off of and doing some guinea pig work. So leave all of that in the comments below and reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. Breathe deep, friends. Shine bright and show up. Mwah.